fresh is your fish. Mine's fresh as a summer's eve. We've got good recipes that'll bring your family to the table with a side of laughter and a charity on top. Okay, today Nona Snowden Cooks is coming to you from Alma's New Kitchen in Coos Bay, Oregon. And there's just two little problems. Number one, Italian women do not like other women in their kitchen. And um, I'm cooking the fish we caught. <laughs> How do you know if it's turned on? Oh, it's, oh, it starts to glow. That explains it. I was waiting for the gas to light. <laughs> Didn't work. Okay. In any case, the point here being, we starting with a thing of butter. We could not find the good goat butter up here because it's Oregon. I guess they don't like their goats. I don't know. And all I'm going to do, melt this butter, and I'm going to saute a box of mushrooms, a can of artichoke hearts, a can of olives, a whole onion, and I don't know how people could live on a thing of garlic this little, because this whole thing is going in there in a minute, because that's, that's almost not even enough garlic for a recipe right there. And, you know, I'm going to try not to spill stuff all down on my new counters, but that cannot be guaranteed, because that's not usually how things work out. Okay, you want to come take a look in here? Show the people what the pot looks like. Okay, and we're just going to saute this up good until it is all nice and sauteed. And then we will go on to the next step. Okay, guys, this is pretty well sauteed down. And now I'm just going to make a white sauce with it with some heavy whipping cream. Okay, now the, one of the first things I'm fixing to do here is just try to get the rest of this garlic into the uh, yummy pot here. And so I'm just going to shake this up and I'm trying not to spill it everywhere, but who knows what's going to... Oh, see, there it went. Dang gum. Okay, now I'm pouring the rest of this heavy whipping cream right here. And I'm just making... Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Hmm. Now, the other thing, I might need the rest of this heavy whipping cream. This is not enough. Okay. Whoops, I'm making a mess. You know I would usually rather use the gumbo daddies, but Alma doesn't have any gumbo daddies because she didn't listen to me when I told her to buy some. And we don't have any of the good yummy salt either, but so we just got the sea salt and the pepper. Okay. And I am just making a sauce for the fish. That's, I'm going to warm this up. I'm going to let it just barely simmer for a little while. Uh, and then I'm going to add the cheese. I'm, now I'm going to pan sear the fillets real quick, just pss, pss, on each side. But first I want to go ahead and season them. Again, we got the Tony's that we use. I'm going to put some garlic powder on it. And some salt and pepper. And pepper. And I have in the frying pan on the stove behind me, the frying pan has about this much olive oil in it warming up. And now we're going to see if I can't figure out how to use this wackadoodle thing that Oma has here that I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. Okay, now let's see. This is a neat little thingy that does the lemons for you. Okay. Alrighty, now you know what we got to do. We got to test the oil and see if it's hot. Yeah, needs to warm up a little bit longer. Now, this is about a quarter of a pound of the good Romano, because oh my does make sure she's got the good Romano. And this is going in the Alfredo sauce. 
So that's a, about a quarter of a pound would be my guess. Let me stir that up real quick. And we need to get the cheese all melted. And we just got it on low. So it's just warming up and melting through the cheese. Now the next thing we're gonna do is quick sear on the fish. I'm going to have to turn this down. That is too much. Okay. Just doing a real quick sear on it. Just about done. Subtle, oh my, real subtle. Okay, so that's pretty well thickened up. And now I'm gonna pour it on top of the fish. Hopefully on top of the fish and not on top of my foot, but you can't be sure until you get started, you know. Things happen. Okay. Yep, and there is plenty left over for just plain noodles for anybody who does not like fish, Oma. Oh all right, now this is going in the oven. Oh, I didn't sprinkle this stuff on the top that I wanted to sprinkle on the top. Oops, hang on, hang on. I forgot what I was doing. Sprinkle some little green onions. And some yummy parsley. And this is going in the oven. And I'm going to say... Five. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Cook time. No, no stop no. clear. Timer, timer. Oh, this timer. Okay, I'm on it. Push the start. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, and we'll let this thicken up a little right here, still on the stove on low. Okay, guys, are we rolling? We're rolling. All right, y'all come on over here. Because this, it probably could have stood to be a little thicker. But, I mean, just like it is, we're just going to try and make sure all the fish is all the way cooked through. And we're just going to take a little dull edge. And you see how it just kind of flakes apart? And it's, there's, no, there's no rubbery got to cut through it. It just kind of flakes apart. That means the fish is done now i have started the water so we have some pasta you can put the pasta down you can put the fish on the pasta we can put the extra sauce if you don't like fish you could just take the plain old pasta and put this on it if you want to go keto and you don't want pasta and make you some of that cauliflower rice and you can put this over cauliflower rice or don't put it over anything now do not forget october Fifth and sixth, skydive space land Houston, be there or be square. Cook, skydive, have fun, give back.